So to balance this equation, we have pH3 plus O2. Let's first count up the atoms for each substance here. So we have one phosphorus, three hydrogen, two oxygens. On the product side, we have two phosphorus atoms, hydrogens we have two, five oxygens, and don't forget this last oxygen here with the water. That's really important. So we have all these here. To balance it, why don't we leave the hydrogens and oxygens to last? Let's start with the phosphorus. We could put a two in front of the pH three. One times two, that'll give us two phosphorus atoms. Those are balanced. Three times two, that'll give us six hydrogen atoms. Let's just do the hydrogen, see what happens. We have six here and two here. So I'm gonna to need to put a three as my coefficient in front of the water. Two times three, that gives me six, but I do need to update the oxygen atoms now. So I have five here plus three times the one. So that's three, that gives me eight oxygen atoms, which is kind of nice because since I have an even number here and oxygen's all by itself, if I put a four as the coefficient, two times four, That'll give me eight. And this equation is balanced. Probably the key here, leave the oxygen till last, probably leave the hydrogen till next to last and do the phosphorus first. Usually when we're balancing equations, leaving the oxygens and hydrogens to last is a good strategy. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for pH3 plus O2. Thanks for watching.